Hey, your videos are getting lighter, but they're still kind of depressing. How so? Well, this week you were going to talk about the three biggest sources of microplastics in the environment that we know of. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Is there no way of learning about what's hurting the environment without feeling so helpless? I don't know. It's all pretty sad. Well, try this week's one. So what do you think are the three biggest sources of microplastics? I don't know, food packaging? Fair thought, but uh, as of 2025, it's synthetic clothing, city dust, which is like a lot of things, and... Who's that? Uh, well, tires. Aren't they made of rubber? Yes, and they're pumped full of all kinds of plastics and chemicals to be safe and durable, but they're poisoning all kinds of wildlife that are near roads Ugh. and wherever the winds and waterways take these particulates to. So in San Francisco, they found tire particulates in salmon, which are like impacting their breeding. And I know how much you love salmon. Yes, it's absolutely delicious. So what do we have to do? It sounds like we have to literally reinvent the wheel. Well, people are working on it. And look, we haven't even covered the, the bigger problem with used tires. See, that's what I'm talking about. This is so depressing. <laughs> now, out of curiosity, what did you mean the top three sources that we know of? Paint. Now, if you've enjoyed watching this, um, hit subscribe and give it a share because it'll help my friend G. Uh, he's quite serious about the sustainability and empathy stuff. So give it a like.